Basically what's happening for you presently is that you are going through another shift in your life. Okay, this is good because this, what this is telling me is especially with the energies that I'm seeing here and we'll look at it a little deeper in a few minutes, but everything that you have been through over the past five years, the pinnacle of your awakening that began five years ago, okay, and everything that you've been through over the past five years needed to happen for you to truly know yourself as a light worker and a psychic, okay, you needed to really know yourself mm -hmm. and understand the work that you're doing, which you are a, you are literally in the realm of full fledged Oracle and you need, and you needed to go through the past five years because prior to that, you didn't know really you knew, but you didn't know. No, no, I didn't know I was, could be anybody. I never even thought I was a Buddhist in a past life. Yeah. Exactly. I, was I mean, you I know, thought I was my mother's child. Right. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, you needed all of this to come to light for you because you truly are an Oracle and that is exactly the work that you are going to be super engaged in for the, from now until the rest of your life, your physical life. Right. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? A hundred percent. Awesome. I'm confirming what I've heard only from invisible people. It's, it's, you know, with strength here, yeah, while you're guiding the way, rest and withdrawal is perfect for you. <laughs> Casting off old limitations. So this is letting go. And wait. Seriously. Yeah. It's a good big watershed. It's, baptismal. it's letting go of your ego completely. Unfortunately, yes. It's good. It's scary. It is scary. But you are an oracle. And I must be a pure vessel. That's right. Yes. And so you needed to shed that. Okay. Um, it was really helpful being a banshee, having an ego, having a Ziggy Stardust. Yeah. Realization. So because and breaking the mask. Mm -hmm. To have it be a real mask. Like yeah. mine was. Yeah. You know, I made it real. Whatever I was doing psychologically, I made real in my life. Exactly. And that's freaking genius. It is. No, it, it is. Really is. It no, really is. It really is. But yeah. it is genius. It is. You become your art because your life is your art. That's right. So true. <sighs> so, um, as you're going through this um, new cycle of Oracle, no, I'm not kidding you. Total. I literally have it down. Oracle. They will call you Oracle. It's true. You are an Oracle. So <laughs> this is an incredible uh, phase that you're going through right now. And this is the work that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. And it is um, absolutely essential in healing the world. Okay. And the feminine. I agree. There's the a mother. There is a, yeah, the mother. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so you're meant to teach. Okay. Um, and to just say, speak. Yeah. So in looking at this energy here, um, we're, we're still looking about letting go. The real message here and challenge for you here is to realize that you truly have gained freedom. You do have trepidation, trepidatiousness, and because we call shop, because mm -hmm. the pagan community, because gay ain't Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think because the are, moment they love you, they hate you. Yeah. And Jesus, what happened to him? Yeah. And Mary said, "There are no more martyrs. Martyrs. There are no more martyrs." That's right. That story. That's right. 
It is done. (laughs) Celebrate. I know. That's what she said. It's true. This is all your challenge. Mm -hmm. Everything we're talking about right now. I know. My challenge is to have a good time. Art, music, abandoned, wildness, passion, (laughs) act on trust, Uh Mm -hmm. Um, the high priestess, freedom, realizing you've gained pure freedom. Yeah, I need to work on realizing. Yeah, I don't care if you have to get artistic and make yourself an FBI passport to the world and carry it in your freaking purse, but that's what you need to know exactly. The past is just talks about the heartbreak and the pain. I'm really glad you told me about this experience with Hermes because about like, look, what if all these people, dead bodies in on with covered with blankets, like what happened with the Russian floods or, you know, Katrina or 9-11 or what, you know, what if those were all just people sleeping, you know? Oh, well, then you wouldn't be disturbed at all. Yeah. No, it's good because your heartbreak and sensitivity over those things have paralyzed you in the past. Yeah, Yeah. completely. Okay. And it is really good for you to change your perspective about that. Yeah, your gift here are definitely your dreams. The path that you are being guided on, okay, is a really it's it's all going to be very new to you mm-hmm. and, foreign. yeah foreign and you have to also understand that as you are moving forward on your path which you know i'm saying that this is gracefully can happen yeah It'll go. and once you really embrace these things and you take this step forward on your path which is going to be happening when you're talking about the grand scheme of life it's actually going to be happening pretty soon Mm -hmm. and when i say that i'm talking about over the next year Mm -hmm. maybe two at the most Mm -hmm. and so once you embrace that um that and you move forward on your path i mean you're really going to soar to greatness and the whole aspect of your greatness is in being an oracle bottom line that's it world needs one i know it's true and a good one you were so funny the first time we listened to esther hicks you were like lydia we do that <laughs> that's <laughs> that is hilarious i know I mean, it was like 10 years ago that's what we do i know exactly uh, <laughs> once had famous name her right that's what you said <laughs> That's exactly what you said. Oh, yes. It was awesome. <laughs> no, it was so right on, though. Uh, I'd like to move forward. Mm-hmm. I've had the craziest ass visions of my future and dreams, both. Okay. Um, such as uh, Will Smith driving around Hollywood, showing me everything, telling me all the secrets. Nice. Um, He's an Aquarian. Isn't he a fellow Aquarian? I think so. Pretty positive. Yes, he is. I think he's on our birthday even. There. Well, yeah. that makes sense. But <laughs> um, let's see. I talked to in my charm a lot about my nightmares. Because <laughs> he was so interested. Yeah. I talked to Mel Gibson on purpose about his Jesus movie. Yeah. Saying, we don't need to see that. <laughs> right. That's going to kill somebody. And he did. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was kind of an ego thing. And I have, I talked to Chris Rock, mm-hmm. and he tells me that, oh, well, that's all higher self stuff, so it's not real. It's cool. Um, anyway, the visions I've had of my future are I'm at a huge Hollywood party in the backyard, with like Bono and all these crazy people, and I'm manifesting butterflies out of my fingertips, and I'm healing people by touching them. And it's kind of a secret. Yeah, that I understand. But I'm behind the door, man, and everybody is there. Yeah. And, and, and Hermes says, they're your dolls. You love playing with your dolls. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, these are better than peers, you know, whatever's about that. Yeah. <laughs> these are my authority figures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, dude, how can you even think that? Exactly. exactly. He thinks I'm bonkers. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> yeah. Because you are so beyond. It's like stars are not gone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they look like them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're meant to look like. And you're so beyond that. That's what he says. It's true. 
And I was also at Tim Burton and his wife's house, and she was showing me magic. She was growing snakes out of her fingers. She's fucking, she was in a shape shift or something. Yeah. And um, we were having another party where I was in this very gorgeous Victorian room on a throne. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, like we were in the 1800s. Like, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. this, it was Tim Burton's house. And um, each celebrity came in one by one in a private session with me, and I told them about their past lives. Awesome. That is awesome. So I was like, I thought you were totally following me. And we, I was sort of secret seat, so they could like fly, they could say whatever they want when they got out. Like, <laughs> it was a big joke, and only I would be knowing right. who was Cleopatra. Right. <laughs> exactly. Because, of course, that's the big joke. Who's Cleopatra? And the extra essence he says to tell you is, it's almost like everything is Avatar. My DMT is so on yeah. that it's almost like I'm tripping all the time. Yeah. And it's exactly. a slight trip. And I think that's what gurus have. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a slight trip. That being like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you always need to be speaking with Guru Dad. Mm hmm Okay, because she's a huge guy for you. Mm -hmm. I want to make her famous. It's true, and there is something about that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Not only about your own personal celebrity, um, but also hers. Um, yeah, I mean, with justice here, and um, I mean, I really feel like your visions. This is the thing. The thing that I first got when I flipped the cards over was the first visions that I got is that you are going to be a person for people that you have so admired to come to, okay? But it's more than just who they were in a past life. It's about talking about, it's talking about the times the unfolding times and the feeling of safety you are going to be giving them. That's why, you know, you are healing them because of the feeling of safety. They're going to be, it's like this. Are they scared? Huh? Are they scared? They are. You have answers that they need, but you've got to put yourself there. Like uh -huh. everything that you are visualizing, the visions that you are getting, mm -hmm is just the universe calling you to your higher self yeah to totally. live your biggest best brightest yeah yeah exactly the Oprah thing right yeah so the visions that you're having are very real yeah gosh Corinne your visions are very powerful and Tell they're guiding you they take me out of my body Libby. I've never they're guiding you in on your path. Yeah. You've got to walk the walk, man. Talk the talk and walk the walk. I was watching um, Caesar and Cleopatra, and when they first meet, she's like, I'm queen. And he's like, you're just a child. And he, she didn't know it was Caesar or Roman. And she was like, Romans eat people, and Caesar definitely eats people. And he said, you've got to act like a queen in front of Caesar. Or he's going to eat you. Okay, all right, so vision's good, shaman good, magician good. Exactly. And my antagonistic self. My, my I know, that's her. the past. And that's psychology. Can we look at the shift changes that happen in my life between now and March yeah, 2013? Yes. This is going to be very prevalent definitely by March, okay? Oracle, okay? That's communicating with inner conviction and authority. And you have to understand that everything that you've been through over the past five years is not only guiding you to the path of your true calling, which is prophetess oracle, but it's also giving you the confidence that you've needed. You've had to learn your true self. You've had to look at yourself in the mirror no matter how ripply and bizarre that mirror that's what i wanted it's not breaking from reality you're going to be probably more in reality than you ever have there are breakdowns everywhere you're going to keep growing moving 
forward through the, the calling that you have. You have a, there's a calling yeah. that you are that you are answering yeah. that call. 